Hello, uh, I am back here, Abdullah. I would like to say that uh, this is a continuation of the video I did last week when I was demonstrating the use of academic tools and research softwares. Uh, we said that, if we can recap on what we said in the previous video, before we can continue, we looked at uh, the different types of um, or different categories of uh, tools and softwares. We said if we are to talk about this, it is important we categorize it into four. Uh, we have the writing tools and paragraphing tools. Referencing tools, research tools, and grammar checking tools. Uh, we started with the um, with the first uh, category, which is paraphrasing and writing tools. And my particular interest and emphasis was on the quill board paraphrasing tool, uh, which we said it offers over 7,000 characters uh, which is truly accurate and reliable and it, it is so reliable that it will give you a very good paraphraser result. So uh, in the previous video I was demonstrating to you how you log on to Quillbot or how you get to Quillbot you just go to www.quillbot.com and then you get access to the tool. So in this video, I will straight away like to go to the Quillbot interface. The last time I was uh, talking about uh, paraphrasing, and but you must take note that uh, Quillbot has other uh, features or other tools that it, it helps you to, to work uh, with, especially if you are writing your thesis or your academic research work or your academic term papers. Uh, last, in the previous video, I was showing you that Quillbot does not only do paraphrasing, it's not only a paraphrasing tool, but it also has grammar checking, it has a grammar checker, it has a summarizer, a citation generator, and then the extensions. Uh, of course, this that I'm using is a basic version, uh, so there are many limitations. You can see that when you get to mods here, some other mods are not opened, for example, former, uh, where you you where it gives you a more sophisticated and professional paraphrasing is closed, it's only for premium users. So you can, uh, when you get your premium version, you can be able now to uh, have access to many of these features and tools that are locked. Uh, basically for premium version. Uh, so last time we did uh, paraphrasing, I'm going to now emphasize on uh, grammar checker. Uh, I know you could have used many several other tools that uh, help help in grammar checking. Uh, these days there are a lot of uh, 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 grammar checking uh, tools that uh, writers or researchers can use. Uh, the most prominent one is uh, Grammarly, and I think we will uh, also have a uh, chance to look at that and know how it can be used. But under here, under Quillbot, we have uh, the Grammar Checker. So what you do, you I just want to put some text here. We can uh, pick text uh, from somewhere, then we'd like to perhaps maybe check if it has uh, grammar errors or it has some aspects we can this tool can can fix you know since we are copying and pasting sometimes the 
alignment of our paragraphs is not the best so once you copy and paste something here you have to basically align your sentences so that uh, what you are putting here makes sense so we we have this and uh, we can now go to grammar checker and say uh, okay we need to paste it here uh, we can get to grammar checker and paste our text here to see whether we have any errors here okay it is trying to check it is saying we have one error and the error i think is here underlined there are 38 words and there's one error so assuming you have very many i mean you have a lot of text and you don't have time you like to fix the grammatical errors uh quillboard does for you and you come here and say fix all errors so to tell you that just fixed all the errors and if you want you can still para paragraph i mean paraphrase this text here and it takes you back to the paraphraser uh, which we did last time so i said after you are done with uh, whatever you have to do you copy yeah, there is a tool there is a, a button here which says copy full text so you copy the text and uh, put it of course in uh, your microsoft word it is it is paraphrased for you and uh, it, it, it has the tool has helped you to check uh, grammatical errors so you can see that um, it makes uh, your writing very easy oops as uh, my microsoft word is opening there i can uh, keep focusing on the other tools here equally there is also a summarizer uh, there is a summarizer yeah like i said you come and paste you come and paste uh, what you got here and then of course like i said last time this is not your work much as you have paraphrased it you have to read through again and try to change um, the sentences and try to paraphrase and so that you own you don't own but so that you are trying to change to the, you are changing the wordings without changing the meaning and therefore since it is got from somewhere you have to put a, a citation here so so that uh, you acknowledge uh, the the source where you are getting all this much so even if you have paraphrased it you still have to cite out so much more when we we when i'll be doing a video about uh, citations uh, so we have uh, the the summarizer summarizer is uh, um is is is, is, is just you put text here and then you say summarize and uh, those are the, the the tool will uh, summarize it for you just already said just summarize this for us and still you copy then there is a very important tool here which is the citation generator this one generates your citation if you like to build a citation list and you also like to do a uh, citation in text um, in the in-text citations um, Crewbot here gives you that uh, that, uh, that 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 tool that ability to work around with your citations so you must know the source the type of what you are citing sometimes you are citing the journal and then therefore you put the title of course you find a document a paper like this it is published in a journal so when you check such papers you can see that the journal names the D dois and the issn IS, iasb um somewhere so it is easier now to get the journal names the, to get the page numbers to get the title and the, you come back and fill it in here you put the authors if there are many you keep adding then you put the journal title then you put the the publisher 
the city, the state, and then you keep filling in here the date of publication, the DOI, and then you put the information about the journal, and then you save the citation. It will appear here uh, and will create um, a citation list for you. So once you are done there, you can export all and then it will uh, generate a citation list for you. So basically, that is um, about Quillbot. Um, so the, we are, this is a, you can contact them, you can go to the blog, you can log out. This is my account. Um, like I said, I'm using a BESC account not a premium vision i mean premium version if it is premium of course it has more um it gives me more 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 abilities more more tools and more flexibility to do whatever i want to do so that marks the end of uh, this paraphrase tool called quillbot so you just have to go to quillbot www.quillbot.com and you get to this interface and you work around with the Quillbot. So I'm very sure that uh, you have enjoyed um, this video. I'm very sure that uh, you have a take home from this video. And uh, if indeed this is relevant to you, I request you to click the subscribe button and on the notification so that every time I put a video here, you are able to, to, to be the first to be notified and watch the video. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, give me a like uh, to encourage me to keep doing similar videos. In our next video, we will be I will be introducing you to other tools. I will now be talking about Grammarly. Uh, as we look at a tool that can enable us uh, to do grammatical checking so that we are writing efficiently and ensuring that uh, uh, we, we are writing professionally as researchers, as scholars, as students in higher institutions. Thank you so much and bye-bye.